Okay, good afternoon. Uh, today, I'd like to start the physics class this semester. And the first chapter is measurements. Um, so, in this chapter, we will study about the measurements. Um, and I think you are familiar with this chapter because in your senior high school or maybe in junior high school, we take uh, or we got a chapter in the Fisika. The name is the Besaran dan Satuan. So this chapter is... Uh, similar to that chapter in our senior or junior high school. So the learning objective of this chapter is the first is how to identify the best quantities in the SI system. SI system is standard international systems, international standard systems. And then the name of the most frequently used prefix for SI units. And then how to change the units. And then explain that the matter is defined in terms of the speed of the light in a vacuum. So we start. This is the, some problem in the measurements. Um, you can read and try. And I, I put the solution of this problem. Actually, this problem is not very difficult to solve because it's, uh, it is just a, like a log logical thinking in the physics um, so you can like you can change from one uh, units to another units by easily by just a log logical thinking not not exactly using the specific uh, formula it's like in the this problem you can see that this is just uh, how to change the units and then uh, you can easily see the solution of the number one and then the problem number two also how to change the units in um, like uh, seeing the question is like how many microseconds are in the 14 night so it's like how to change for the Fortnite or two weeks to the how many microseconds so you can easily see the solution of number two and also from the problem number three okay um the no, the in the number three also we can easily solve the questions by using uh, how to change from uh, one unit to another unit so you can easily see and also the number four so we we, we will start with the uh, chapter one one point one and physics and engineering are based on the precise measurements and comparison of physical quantities so the measurements is the comparison with the standard it's been that uh, if we want to measure something, so we have to compare it with the standards. It's like we want to see what uh, what is the distance uh, from uh, engineering uh, engineering faculty to the uh, main building of our campus. So it's like we have to compare or we have to measure using the using the standards it's like a meter or a kilometer or miles or something else so and then uh, the unique name assigned to the measure of the quantity is like a mass we measure the time length pressure and etc and how to compare the how to compare uh, the something with the standard is is mean that we have to know the units of the standard it's mean it's, uh, it's like 
uh, is for for the distance. We have the miles, we have the kilometer or meter. It mean it's mean that, and this is the units. So in the one meter is it's mean that's one unit. And what is the unit in the one meter is, uh, the meaning of the one meter is distance traveled by the light in a vacuum over a certain fraction of the seconds. Um, so it's, it's also a change from time to time. Uh, so we, we can see an, another slide. In the long time ago, how to measure one meter is not exactly same or not exactly similar to how to measure the one meter uh, right now. Um, and there are many different physical quantities, but not all are independent. So the best quantities is like we, we call it the seven fundamental quantities. So there's length, time, mass, then all have been assigned as like standards and are used to define all other physical quantities. And then uh, the standard is must be accessible and then invariable. It means that uh, if we can access uh, the some measurements, so the precise measurement can be taken if the standard is accessible. And also the standard is must be inferable. It, it means that the standard in our country is similar to the standard in another country like the US or in the Japan or in China or in the Sweden and also another country. And then it didn't change over time. It means that uh, if there are, if the scientific sci scientists in, in the physics didn't change the units or the standards so uh, the standards or the unit must be must be similar uh, in all the world and also a uh, time by time so the standard or the best standard must be didn't change over time and the international system or si units in the metric systems uh, in the best units is the meters for length, seconds from the time, and kilogram from the mass. And then, and the SI has many derived units. So like a joules or work energy, one joule is one kilogram meter square per uh, second square. And then watts or power is one watt, is like one joule per second, one kilogram meter square per S. And then, uh, and then, how to uh, how to write a number in the some measurement is also is also important. It's like uh, in the first one, uh, we can see like this ones, uh, this ones, three five. 60 meter or so we, we can easily see that like 3.56 uh, multiply by 10 10 over 9 meter or also it's like this ones we can easily write like this ones so it's uh, we can easily see the units or see the number by using this, uh, by using these systems, or by using this method, and then uh, the conversion factor is like the ratio of units must must be equal to ones. So it's like we can, we have to convert from minutes to the seconds. So we can easily like uh, we multiply two minutes to sixty seconds per one minute, so we can get one hundred and twenty seconds. And to and for the accuracy of the standard or units, we uh, we uh, this in science have different chance in the standard form units. It's like I I mentioned before that one meter in uh, now is different with the how to calculate the one meter in long time ago. It's like this ones the number one in, in the in the past one meter has been defined by. This one, one ten millionth of the distance from the North Pole to the equator on the seconds 
a platinum iridium standard meter bar kept in France and also changed again to 1,650,763.73 wavelengths of the emissions line KR88. And then the today, the matter is the length of the path traveled by the light in the vacuum during a time interval of 1.300, yeah, it's about 300 million of seconds. And then, so uh, we know we know that one meter is like, uh, un we, we know that two days one meter is like this one. And then, uh, how to write uh, the units or how to write the number uh, represents the units in the standard is also uh, important. So we know that this there there are significant figures is are the meaningful 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 digits. It's like uh, generally round of the least number is significant figure of the given data. It's like 25 multiplied by 18. We have the two significant figure like 25. So 25 multiplied by 8, uh, 18,975 is still 2. So in the run of 4, 5 plus, it's like 13.5 uh, is 14. It's like this is the, uh, uh, what's it called? We got like pembulatan. So from 30.5, 30 30.6 30 is the, the significant figure, or we can say that it's the 14th. But 13.4 or below 0 0.5, 13.4, 13.3, and we, we call it 13. And then the significant figure are not a decimal places. It's like 0 0.003356. It has five decimis, de decimal places, but it only has three significant figure here. And then in general, trailing zeros are not as significant. It's like, in other words, 3000 may have four significant figures. But usually 3000 will have only one significant figure. So we are right, it's like in scientific notation, like 3.000 multiplied by 10 uh, for 3. Or So we can see that this is a significant figure is on only one because we can uh, write uh, the the number like 3000 like this ones so for example so we have a uh, 1.3 kilometer so 1.3 kilometer uh how many meter so we can like uh, convert easily like like, like this ones in the number ones and then 0 0.8 kilometer what uh how many centimeter or two two thousand eight hundred forty five millimeter how many feet so we can easily see and how uh, we can easily convert from the one unit to another unit and then the second standard the second important standard is the time so the learning objective of this uh, sub chapter is change unit from time using a chain link conversions and then use various measures to time is like emotions or as measured on a different spot. So any standards of the time needs to be able to answer when did thing when did a thing happen and how long did it happen? It's like a durations. And then the times follow the same conversion. It's like uh, we convert from the uh, the length measurement is similar to how to convert in the times um, standards. And then the standard of the time, the past is included like rotation of the earth, quartz vibrations, and then atomic clocks or occasions. And then today we know that one second is the time taken by nine billions, yeah, about 10 billion oscillation of the light of a specific wavelength emits by the cesium 133 atom. So this is the one second. We know that one second. And then there is a, uh, the variation in the length of the day as measured by an atomic clock. It's like uh, 
today and tomorrow, tomorrow and yesterday, tomorrow and two days, two days ago, or it is and the length of the day is different. So on the vertical scale here is some on three point millisecond. It's like this is the uh, hundred uh, nineteen eighty. <coughs> this is nine nineteen eighty three. So the, the there is the change change the length. Uh, the length of the day is different uh, by time to time. And then the third uh, standard is the mass. So the learning objective is change unit for the mass using chain link conversions and then uh, relate density to the mass and volume when the mass is uniform distributed. And the standard kilogram of the one kilogram is the cylinder of the platinum in iridium stored in the front. So the atomic mass units, this is the second mass, mass standard. One atom carbon 12 is assigned a mass of 12U. So the 12U is the how to measure the atom molecule mass. So one mu is this one. So the mass per unit volume is called, we call it like density. So the density or rho is equal to 4A M per V. M is the mass of the object. V is a volume. And then the rho is the density of the material. So the summary is the measurements is defined by relationship to the base quantities. It's like uh, we, want, we would like to compare uh, or we, will, we would like to measure the distance. So we have to uh, convert it to the units or we convert it to the like uh, standards and each defined by standard and given a units. So the SE is a uni units is international system of the units. And the S base unit has an accessibility standard of the measurements. And then the second we we know that how to change the units. And then what is the length, the standard of one meter. And then we also know that the standard of the one seconds. And then the atomic clocks are used to uh, as as time standards. And the mass kilogram what is defined by the platinum iridium standards mass and then we also know that the atomic scale mass is like a carbon 12 and then the last we know that the de de what is the density density is the mass per volume like this one so this is the end of the chapter one of the measurements see you in the chapter two of the factor uh good afternoon